Ko Nichiwa, Minas Tisakuri, and you're watching PokéCons. Today's 10 minute first impression of the video is going to be on a PlayStation 1 game, and that is Street Skater. It's a skating game. Let's see how good it is. I love getting different ones on the PlayStation 1 just to see if they're any good. As always, 10 minutes to play the game. First, I'm playing my version of, and I can't skip anything. Let's get that timer started. Timer's been started, and now loading. <laughs> All right. Let's see how this one is like. Street tour, free skate, first mode config. Okay, let's just do free skate because I don't want to get into the other one. Okay, so we have L.A., New York, Tokyo, half pipe, big air, bowl. L.A. It is. Okay, so this right here is T.J. He's a regular player. This is Jerry. He's goofy. Ginger, regular. Frankie, goofy. Okay. We'll choose Ginger. Because she's the only female character. Front and back. Scream like this. Nyah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay, there had to be at least one school. And women. Okay. More bones. More women. Skull lady. Bone. Blood. With the decapitation. Wow, okay. Then back to that one. Okay, well, no, no, no. We're going to do scream. Now loading. Oh, I forgot to do my little mention about things, so I have I gotta two one hit it. Okay, so this take this is two players. Takes one block and it does have rebel feature, but according to the back it does not use the analog. So Nope, it does not use analog at all. Okay, that's break. That's go faster. Okay. Time extension. Wow, that's not good. I lost points. All right, so it's X to do moves, apparently. Okay. Ah. Man, since I have played Tony Hawk, this is really messing me up. Moving on. Time extension. Oh, here goes my speed. Nice finish. Okay. That's not a bad score for my first time. Okay, my score sucks. <laughs> oh, yay! Replays! Um, uh, we're moving on. Yes, since I kind of got the controls down now. Okay. Bye. 
Bust us some moves. That's what they want us to do, however. Oh, I just lost points again. Okay, so... X is basically your move button. I... okay. And you use circle... Um, to speed up. Okay. I don't know why it's not doing it now. There we go. Oh crap! I forgot there's a timer! <laughs> uh, I forgot about that. Yeah, we need to. Okay. Two, one. I saw some moves. Okay. Dang it. Okay. I don't get it. I hit the buttons. Ah. Okay, so... Oh, I don't know how she made that, but okay. But okay. Oh! Okay, remember, the wall is your enemy. So stop running into it. And she didn't do any of the commands I just told her to do. Okay. What? Ah, whatever. Okay. What happened? Oh my gosh. She went like... She just went stupid on me or something. Ah. Yes. Okay. Two, one, you suck. Because our controls suck. I don't know how I'm to bust out some moves. Your moves are very uh, hardcore on the... There we go. Oh, whatever. No, go, you stupid. Come on. Okay. All right. Oh, that's a wall. That's a wall.
No! Wow! Oh, dang it, I can't turn when I'm doing that. Ah! Stupid wall. And they, like, they put it there on purpose. Timer just went off, but I'm going to finish this right here. Oh, come on! Controls suck in this game. No! <clears throat> Whatever, I'm done. Okay. Let's pull out the uh, manual to see what these horribly awful controls are. I mean, come on. Oh! Let's uh, find out. Okay. How they actually show both of the things is funny, but yeah, okay. So, this is how you do directional pads left and right to turn. Gain speed is circle. Ollie is X. Reduce speed or stomp is square because that's a stupid thing to add in if we're just going downhill. Switch stances. L1 for one stance, R1 for the other one. Perform tricks. X plus D-pad. Up or down, left or right. That's all we get. Wow. Okay. Uh -huh. Check and see if there's anything else. Okay, nope, nope. Uh -huh. tricks. Okay. Okay. As you leap, when you reach the lip of the age, push D pad with a directional button. The trick you perform depends on your speed, the romp, and the D pad direction you pick. Uh. So, okay, here's something funny. Uh, they actually talk about the different skaters that we have. And Ginger's, okay, so she's 5'5", five five, age 17. She's a regular skater. Favorite song is Every Ready, Ever Ready by H2O. Favorite track is Switch Kick, oh, Trick is Switch Kick Flip to um, FS... 720. Favorite tip. Remember, you get points for time left as well as tricks. Okay. So. It's not the worst skating game I played. However. With it being on the PlayStation 1, it is one of the sorely lacking skating games slash snowboarding games slash skate roller derby or anything, you know, anything that deals with a momentum sport which you use a device to travel upon. It is sorely lacking. It feels like I'm playing a game on the Game Boy or the Nintendo where you only have A and B or 1 and 2, whatever, you know, a system you're playing that only has two buttons on a D-pad. That's how this game feels. I have, remember, we have eight buttons, okay? Eight buttons to choose from. Right, they forgot some. They have the analog sticks. Right, they forgot them. They use the rumble feature. I could give... I could give a crap about rumble feature if it meant giving me options. So, yes. Um... Music's not bad, but 
I don't know if they have multiple tracks on here or not because it seemed like it was the same track every single time I started to level it. And that was the only one. And apparently the old track is long enough to uh, by the time I finish the level, it is still the same track. Okay. I'm trying to think. Was there anything else? No, it's really just the controls. The music is a whatever. You know, because that's... Something you just gotta do this deal with. Sometimes it's how it works. But when it comes to controls, controls are everything in a game like this. I mean, yes, true, skate or die could be a little hard at times, but after you get it down, piece of cake. Uh, 720 degrees can be very hard, <laughs> but when you get the controls down, it's still hard, but it's still fun. Um, Tony Hawk basically wrote the book on how the controls are supposed to be you know ssx wrote the you know just there's a lot of games that you can pick out there that really wrote the book and it's it's the controls the controls are simplified but simplifying the controls does not help so remember that you have multiple buttons you got to do it if a game boy advance version of Tony Hawk is amazing and there's only four buttons and then you go to play this and it's like uh, <laughs> then there's a problem other than that graphically wasn't bad uh, the controls do work it's just how can I put it? I guess what I should be nice about saying about the controls is this. If you were to play this game before Tony Hawk, then you would probably do really good at this game. But because I played Tony Hawk before ever playing this game, it makes the game hard because I'm used to there being a standard of certain types of controls. This one you immediately push X and you jump. I don't like that. I like having to hold it down and then jumping. So that really kind of messes up a little. But, you know, everything else wasn't bad. It really just comes down to I didn't like the controls. So, I do apologize. I do recommend giving it a try. It may be the, the, the skating boarding game you've been looking for, and it might be fun for you. It's fun, just... F oh, I can't get the controls down. And, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me completely and epically fail miserably. This is Tizuka saying ciao and sayonara.